So welcome. Let me explain to you a little bit about Blossom, what it's about, what its purpose is. Um, it comes from the word blossom. Where does the word blossom come from? It comes from that I see every human being as a beautiful flower, everyone unique with its own beauty, with its own aroma, waiting to blossom into the world. There's no one flower that's better or surpasses any other flower. The garden is beautiful because Every single flower is in bloom and every single flower is unique. And all that diversity together, those different colors, the different forms, the different shapes, different heights, that's what creates beauty in a garden. And I see that's what creates beauty in mankind, that we are each know who we are and we can blossom into that being. In this video, I'm going to show you the Calm Heart Meditation. It's a meditation that nourishes your heart from the inside out. It has the following benefits. Your left hand is going to be over your heart, bringing your heart to a point of stillness. Your right hand will be in a certain way that throws you into action, but peaceful action. It helps you when you're having difficulties in any type of relationship or in any conversation, calming your heart, bringing you back to your center, and allowing you to deal with that situation in a neutral way, directly, but from your heart. So we're going to do the meditation sitting on a chair or sitting on the floor. Whichever way, make sure that your spine comes up straight. And this is how we're going to do it. Your left hand comes over your heart with your fingers pointing towards the right, parallel to the ground. You'll notice it, how this stills your heart. Your right hand, you're going to have in Gyan Mudra. That means the tip of your thumb and the tip of your index finger come together. Your other fingers point straight upwards. And that hand comes here, close to your right hand shoulder. Relax your elbow, keep your elbow down. Make sure your heart's elevated. You're going to have your eyes all completely closed or looking forward, one-tenth open. And then you're going to breathe in as long and as slowly as you can. Hold your breath in for as long as you comfortably can without getting overwhelmed. Then when you need to breathe out, you'll breathe out long and slow. Finally, holding your breath out, keeping it held out for as long as you can. Once again, comfortably so, you don't want to get overwhelmed. What you need to be able to do is control every part of your breath. So if you find that you're gasping for breath when you breathe back in again, that's because you've held your breath out too long. So at that point, you want to be holding your breath out slightly less. And this is what it's going to look like.
to finish, you're going to breathe in through your nose and breathe out strongly three times like this. And then slowly and gently relax your hands. You can do the meditation for between three and 11 minutes. It's very common for people that they find that holding their breath in is fine, but it's more difficult to hold the breath out. Some people even say they begin to feel a bit panicky when they're holding their breath out. That's great. It means that you're transforming your deep fears. Because when we hold our breath out, we're really facing our deepest fear of all, which is the fear of death, which is the moment when you breathe out and you don't breathe back in again. So in the process of just staying with your feelings, but still holding your breath out, you're transforming really deep fears. And what you'll notice is that over time, over practice, it starts to feel fine, it starts to become easier and you're much more able to hold your breath out. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you and the pure light within you guide your way on. Satnam.